Hi, my name is Cree, and I'm an 11th grader from New Jersey. On the internet, I'm known as Creasy, and I make trick shot videos. I started making videos six years ago when I was in fifth grade. At the time, I watched a ton of YouTube, and I discovered these contraptions called Rube Goldberg machines. Now, if you don't know what a Rube Goldberg machine is, it's kind of like a giant chain reaction made completely out of household items and it accomplishes a super simple task at the end. A couple days after making my first machine, I also made my first trick shot video, which consisted of me just throwing ping pong balls into cups. Now, I'll admit, my first videos of the kind were not that great, but over the years I've gotten a ton of practice and now I have over 50 million views on my YouTube channel. When I found out we were gonna be stuck at home for the next few months, I knew I needed to spend my time making something big. So I decided to make the most complicated trick shot ever, a completely outdoor Rube Goldberg machine that goes around my entire yard and makes a basketball shot at the end. I was hoping that if I can spread this video around, I can show people that staying socially distant doesn't have to be so bad. So I spent the next two months getting everything out of my shed, my garage, and my house, and built this machine. In order to make machines, you have to think a little bit differently about everyday objects. To most people, this looks like just a bunch of old paint cans and a broom. But I found this box that rolls perfectly in between the cans. After the first month of working on this machine, the building was completely finished. But it turns out that was only half the work. Now I had to film the machine from start to finish in one continuous shot. I ended up using a 360 camera at the end of a selfie stick to film this video. That way I could just point the camera wherever I want and reframe it later. This made filming a lot less stressful and the GoPro Max was perfect for this job. Another thing I had to worry about was the weather. Sometimes it was too windy and parts of the machine fell down before I wanted them to. Other times it rained and I needed to bring a bunch of stuff inside so it didn't get wet. Sometimes it was even too sunny and I thought the shadows were too distracting, so I had to wait for the perfect cloudy day to film this machine. After the first month of building, it took an additional month to film the whole thing. If I'm being honest, this was super frustrating because sometimes the machine would get to the last couple of steps and just stop. But I learned from past experiences that if I just kept trying, I'd get it eventually. And sure enough, I did. The basketball shot at the end ended up being a perfect swoosh. So I ended up calling the project the Swoosh Machine. So I posted my video to YouTube and it started to gain traction pretty quickly. I was happy so many people were seeing the hard work I put into this machine. At the end of my video, I put the words, stay home, make something cool. It's not a long message, but I was hoping that people would read that and feel inspired to make something themselves, whether that's a Rube Goldberg machine or a piece of art or maybe even music. Having to stay home is not an easy thing to do for everyone. So something like making a Rube Goldberg machine or trick shot video is a great way to pass the time. So I challenge you all to do exactly that. Who knows, maybe you'll find a new hobby. I hope that I can use my platform to spread more positive messages in the future. And I also hope that one day I can make creating videos my full time job. But for now, thanks for watching this segment. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can find them on the Crazy YouTube channel.